teenagers are selfish by nature, by design, right? How many of us have childhood traumas from being called selfish? And how many of us have continued that pattern of calling our teenagers selfish? Because they are. But why are they selfish? Well, they're selfish because they are doing the very most important work of figuring out who they are. They are completely self-absorbed. The whole, in, the whole purpose of going through the phase of adolescence is to determine who am I? What am I about? And how do you do that? You go do that by comparing yourself to others, by acting like others, by imitating others, by doing everything just you, yourself, and you. Yes, you're selfish by nature because you're supposed to be. Now, does that mean that it's okay and acceptable to continue to be selfish? No, of course not. This is where parenting comes in. This is where it's our job to communicate to the teenagers that they're being a little self-absorbed. Don't label, right? But say, hey, perhaps you should consider thinking of other people. Give them the framework. Give them the understanding that they are thinking about themselves. But don't chastise them. Don't make them feel horrible about who they are, what they're naturally doing. Most teenagers do outgrow it, right? Because we get them involved. Parents parent. Parents speak to the teenagers. They are given chores. They're given responsibilities. They volunteer. They're held accountable for grades. They have to, you know, they're, and not to mention teenage years, they're also figuring out relationships and friendships and what's going on with all of that. So don't be so hard on them. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all outgrow our teenage years for the most part, most of us. But help them. Teach them parameters. Teach them boundaries. Give them consequences. Don't be afraid to parent. That's our job. Does that make sense?